considering there is one week left in March and I have been doing my makeup exactly the same uh, almost every single day except for maybe two days this month, I thought that I will just not do a standard monthly favorites video and instead I will do a face of the month video in which I actually show you the products that I've been using every day and this way you will get to see them in action. I'm doing this video in collaboration with my friend Brianna Stanko here on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. She is just as obsessed with skincare and with foundation as I am, so we really bonded over those two things. We have quite similar skin types, so the foundations that she likes, I tend to like as well. I'm going to link her channel and her face of the month video below. And the product that kind of prompted this whole collaboration and the first product I'm going to talk to you about is the new Dior Nude Air Serum Foundation. She was the first person that I'm subscribed to that talked about this. So as soon as I saw that she really liked it, I made a mental note to go and check it out in the store. I just watched it, I fell in love with it, and I bought it. This was right around the first or second of March, and I've been using it every single day since. I love it. I have a full review of it on my blog which I'll link to below because I don't want to talk about this product for half an hour but long story short if you like Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua foundation you will love this. It's everything that I like in Chanel Vital Lumiere Aqua but it's even lighter on the skin and it lasts longer on my skin. It's a light to medium foundation. It has SPF of 25 in it so it's just a really really nice everyday natural looking foundation. It's super easy to work with as well. I like to use my fingers to blend it out. It's one of those foundations that comes with a dropper which I'm not a fan of just because I'm really messy and I always tend to drop these types of things on myself but this foundation is so good I'm, I'm gonna put up with it. The best way that this works for me is just by using the dropper and dropping it directly on my face and then I just use my fingers to blend it out. It looks exactly like skin and it does not emphasize dry patches. A lot of foundations that maybe have higher coverage than this, I will just notice that after after a long day around my nose and my chin, it really breaks down. This doesn't do that. It just kind of fades in an elegant way. It's just an awesome product and I think that it will work with lots of different skin types. I mean, I have combination oily skin, but sometimes I have dry patches and it works wonders for me. So you should definitely check this out. The next thing I've been doing this month is skipping the blush. I apply a very light bronzer, uh, something like Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel or the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil or the Chanel Le Beige Powder, something that isn't a very dark deep bronze. Just a very light bronze. I apply that on the perimeters of my face to give some warmth. And afterwards, just on my cheekbones, I use the Too Faced Sun Bunny. Um, I have this big book of bronzers that they sent me, but you can buy Sun Bunny separately. I've talked about it before. It's this product right here, and it is so beautiful. It's the perfect bronzer and highlight product in one. I like to use a MAC 187 brush to apply this because I don't want to overdo it. I like to just kind of apply it in sheer layers and build it up to the intensity that I want and I don't use it too low. I like to keep it just on the higher parts of the cheekbone so it just kind of gives you definition and highlight at the same time and it's it's just beautiful. I've been loving it so far. For the eyes, it's all about keeping it really nude and simple. I haven't been wearing eyeliner on my upper eyelid, which is huge for me because I am a really big fan of eyeliner, but it's been fun to switch it up and what prompted me to switch this up was I saw Rosington Rosington. I saw Rosie Huntington Whiteley's makeup at the Oscars back in February and she just had a very very nude shimmery eye and it a red lip. It was really, really beautiful. I tried to recreate it on my blog using some products that Maybelline sent me and I ended up really loving some of those products and I just kept using them throughout the month. So on my eyes, I've been using this. This is the Maybelline Color Molten Eyeshadow. This is a very cool formula. It applies like a powder, but it has no fallout because it's creamy, it's it's very weird. In Canada, we have testers at the drugstore. So if you see this at the drugstore, make sure you give the testers a swatch because it's the weirdest formula, but it's great at the same time because it really does combine the sheerness and blendability of a powder, but in a cream formula. It's, it's an interesting formula. This is the color number 300 called Nude Rush, and I have been wearing it every single day. It's a perfect neutral eye for work. So I use the lightest shade here, which is a really, really pretty champagne pink. I apply it all over the lid with a flat synthetic brush. The one I'm using here is by Sonia Kashuk. Mm -hmm. 
Then I use the warmer brown shade in the crease and kind of on the outer half of the eye using a MAC 217 brush and they blend really nicely together. I have to use a primer with every eyeshadow that I wear no matter the brand so I highly recommend using an eyeshadow primer underneath. Especially if you have oily eyelids definitely you will want to use a primer with this. I've also really been getting back into inner corner highlights this month and the inner corner highlight out of all the eyeshadows that I have in my collection the one color that I always go back to for the perfect inner corner highlight is from the Naked Basics palette and it's this color right here it's called Venus it's the only shimmery shade in the Naked Basics palette and it is just perfect it is the perfect inner corner highlight the other inner corner highlight I used to like before this was MAC Shroom but this is a bit more intense than Shroom but it's not as frosty as MAC Nylon for example so it's still it's still daytime appropriate or you can really pack it on and make it more nighttime dramatic if you want that super super highlighted inner corner. For my brows, another Maybelline item that I've been loving is the Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. This is in the shade Blonde and while it doesn't have as much intense pigment deposit as MAC Tinted Brow Gel or the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, this has a really cool brush. And at first I was like, what? This kind of looks like a little torture device. But the shape of the brush gives you so much control and I think if you are like me and you like to brush them up, this brush gives you a lot more control. It really ends up enhancing your natural arch and I love it. It does deposit a hint of color, a hint of, uh, of light warmth, which I like for my brows because that way it matches my hair. But I am so happy with it and the formula, the way that it keeps the brows in place is just as good as the Anastasia. So this is a product that I will spend my money on once I use this up. I absolutely love it. The only other thing I've been doing to my eyes is just using mascara and I told myself that I will use up all my mascara samples before I buy another full size mascara. So that's what I'm working through right now, just all the mascara samples that I own. And I have been using eyeliner on just the lower lash line and I've been using the Marc Jacobs highliner. This is the gel eyeliner pencil in the color brown out. I actually just ended up buying a full size in a different color and I got another sample of the black one. Sephora has, a, has it as a 100 point perk right now so if you're interested in trying these eyeliners you can uh, you can check it out on the Sephora website and you can get you can get to try it but it is amazing. I have really really oily eyelids and a lot of eyeliner smudge on me. This is this doesn't do that. It's really really great. And last but not least for my lips, I've just been really into lip balms and very sheer glossy formulas. I've been wearing the YSL Volupt Sheer Candy in number 6 a lot. It's a very warm, sheer, dark red. Or I've been using this, the Maybelline Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. This is a more intensely medicated formula and it kind of smells like Vicks. So if you like the smell of Vicks Vapor Rub, you will really like this. It comes in a few different shades and a clear formula as well. The one that I have is Soothing Sorbet and I've just been absolutely loving it for giving my lips just a hint of color. It has the exact same color deposit and shine as a Rouge Volupt Sheer Candy does. But obviously it smells like eucalyptus and mint and it has a very soothing cooling effect on the lips. My lips are still a little bit dry from the past winter so this, this has really come in handy. It is really great. It hydrates the lips better than more expensive lip balms that I've tried like the Fresh. And that's about it. Hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye!